Hurricane Sandy, the largest Atlantic tropical system in diameter on record, is a late-season tropical cyclone that has affected Jamaica, Cuba, the Bahamas, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and the eastern seaboard of the United States, reaching to the area south of the Great Lakes region of the United States and eastern Canada. The 18th tropical cyclone, 18th named storm, and 10th hurricane of the 2012 Atlantic hurricane season, Sandy developed from an elongated tropical wave in the Western Caribbean Sea on October 22. It became a tropical depression, quickly strengthened, and was upgraded to a tropical storm six hours later. Sandy moved slowly northward toward the Greater Antilles and gradually strengthened. On October 24, Sandy was upgraded to a hurricane, shortly before making landfall in Jamaica. Upon moving farther north, Sandy re-entered water and made its second landfall in Cuba during the early morning of October 25 as a Category 2 hurricane. During the late evening of October 25, Sandy weakened to Category 1 strength. In the early hours of October 26, it headed north through the Bahamas. Sandy briefly weakened to a tropical storm in the early morning hours of October 27, then re-strengthened to a Category 1 hurricane later that morning. Just before 8 a.m. on October 29, Sandy turned to the north-northwest and started to make its expected approach towards the U.S. coast, still maintaining Category 1 strength. Although the National Hurricane Center has not officially confirmed the location, at 5.46 p.m. local time, AccuWeather announced it had come ashore in between Avalon and Sea Isle City in Cape May County, New Jersey. NOAA announced officially that the storm had come ashore at approximately 8 p.m. EDT 5 miles southwest of Atlantic City, New Jersey. On October 29, 2012, at 7 p.m. EDT, Sandy was declared a post-tropical cyclone. Sandy's impact on the United States stretched from North Carolina to New England with tropical storm force winds stretching far inland and significant mountain snows in West Virginia. The cyclone brought a significant storm surge to New York City on the evening of October 29, with numerous streets and tunnels flooded in Lower Manhattan and other areas of the city. A tropical wave was moving westward through the eastern Caribbean Sea on October 19, 2012. It had an extended low-pressure area, and conditions were expected to gradually become more favorable for development. On October 20, the system became better organized, and the U.S. National Hurricane Center NHC, assessed a high potential for it to become a tropical cyclone within 48 hours. By the next day, the associated convection, or thunderstorms, had become minimal, although barometric pressure in the area remained low, which favored development. The thunderstorms gradually increased, while the system slowed and became nearly stationary over the Western Caribbean. At 1500 UTC on October 22, the NHC initiated advisories on Tropical Depression 18 about 320 miles, 515 kilometers, south of Kingston, Jamaica. This was based on surface observations and satellite imagery, which indicated the system had developed enough organized convection to be classified. Satellite image of Hurricane Sandy near Jamaica landfall When the tropical depression formed, it was in an area of weak steering currents south of a ridge extending eastward from the Gulf of Mexico. Low wind shear and warm sea surface temperatures were conducive to strengthening and rapid deepening. Late on October 22, a Hurricane Hunter's flight observed winds of 40 mph, 64 km per hour, in a rain band, which prompted NHC to upgrade the depression to Tropical Storm Sandy. Outflow increased, while moist atmosphere helped the convection organize further. NHC noted that, remaining nearly stationary over the warm waters of southwestern Caribbean Sea is never a good sign for this time of year. Still, the cloud pattern initially remained largely the same. Early on October 24, NI began developing. By that time, Sandy was moving steadily northward, drawn by a trough approaching from the northwest. At 11 a.m. EDT, 1500 UTC on October 24, 
The NHC upgraded Sandy to hurricane status after the hurricane hunters observed flight level winds of 99 mph, 159 km per hour. At the time, Sandy was about 65 miles, 105 km south of Kingston, Jamaica. At about 3 p.m. EDT, 1900 UTC, on October 24, Sandy made landfall near Kingston with winds of about 80 mph, 130 km per hour. Just offshore Cuba, Sandy rapidly intensified into a Category 2 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson scale with 110 mph, 175 km per hour winds. Shortly thereafter at 1.25 a.m. EDT, 0525 UTC, the hurricane struck Cuba just west of Santiago de Cuba. At landfall, Sandy had a well-defined eye of over 23 miles, 37 kilometers in diameter, and flight level winds reached 135 mph, 216 kilometers per hour, while over land, the structure deteriorated and the eye was no longer visible. After Sandy exited Cuba, dry air and increasing shear restricted the outflow and caused the structure to become disorganized. A mid-level low over Florida turned the hurricane toward the north-northwest. By early on October 26, most of the convection was sheared to the north of the center, and the size of the storm increased greatly. By the next day, the NHC remarked that Sandy was showing characteristics of a hybrid cyclone, like an occluded frontal low. However, the system maintained a warm thermal core, and despite strong 60 mph, 95 km per hour wind shear, the hurricane continued to develop thunderstorms due to good divergence from a nearby trough. The same trough turned Sandy toward the northeast. On October 27, Sandy briefly weakened to a tropical storm, after dry air became fully ingested into the mid and upper level circulations. Later that day, however, wind reports from the hurricane hunters indicated that Sandy re-intensified into a hurricane.